Okay, our second case, uh, this patient has moderate bunion. She also has a very interesting deformity. It's about maybe 40 to 50% of the patients have this. It's a toe deformity, so we call it the hallux abductus. So the toe itself is also turning. So there's another angle right here. This should be straight besides her bunion. So forget about her bunion. She still has a deformity here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my Amy bunion procedure here with the three small incision correct her bunion, and then I'm gonna come here and do my Amy Aiken procedure, which is also a minimally invasive Aiken osteotomy, which is cutting this bone and straightening it out. So two bone cuts here, and then she also has a hammer toe deformity right here. We'll be correcting that with a couple of small bone cuts and a small screw that goes in there and to keep it straight. Fortunately, she doesn't have a deformity here, so the toe is not sticking up like this. So it's only in this plane. So all we have to do is correct this and maybe do a small release of tendon down here. We'll see how that works. So I will be taking you through this. She's gonna have a beautiful foot when I'm done with this in about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, and uh, also looking at her x-rays, bunion deformity right there. And as you can see, the toe is also also shifting towards the second so we're gonna do another bone cut to straighten this out and the hammer toe this bone has to be straightened out these are fairly sta straight this is the one that we have to correct okay so this is our bone cutting time took us a couple of minutes to get here there you go very nice and clean cut that's how it should be done Okay, we're done with the second part. As you can see, the toe is nice and straight. The bunion is fixed. So beautiful, nice looking first metatarsal and the big toe. And on the x-ray, you can see that I have fixed the bunion and we closed, you remember I told you guys about those the lines, they're now parallel. And uh, we closed this gap, took a pie shape wedge out and the toe is now nice and straight. So we're gonna move to our third part of the procedure, which is the hammer toe. So stay tuned for that. So this took us 30 minutes, these two procedures. So now we're gonna move into the fourth toe, which is gonna take us probably another 10 minutes. Okay, we're done with all three procedures. It came out beautiful. She has a beautiful first metatarsal and the first ray, we call it. The bunion area is fixed. The toe is straight and her hammer toe is also nice and straight. Obviously, she still has a small hammer toe on the second and third. And we also fixed her fifth because it was kind of going under. So she had a very good result. As you can see, it looks beautiful. Once the sutures are all removed, you can see, look at the incisions. That's what I wanted to actually bring up. One, two incisions for the bunion and two incisions for this correction and two or three small stab incisions for the hammer toe. So nothing was open. Uh, traditional bunion procedure and what I did today would be three big incisions. One here, one here, and one here. She would have had three big incisions. So she will have a very easy and uh, speedy recovery with less pain and swelling and she'll be able to walk uh, tomorrow morning. Please like, share, and subscribe. It honestly takes a lot for us to film these procedures. So it takes a lot to take these videos and edit them. So please share it and uh, give us a comment what you want to see and uh, thumbs up so see you guys later